You ready? Well, y'all, thank you for coming. As you know, this is a this is a great step forward for South Carolina. We took a great step forward for all of our people several years ago as a result of the tragic death of young Tucker Hips, a fine young man. No no reason in the world that, that we lost him, but we did. But they say that out of out of tragedy come come good things in progress, and out of that tragedy came a understanding here in South Carolina that we, we need to know what is happening among our young people at the colleges and universities. We know their, their pressures, their cross currents, there are all sorts of things that happen outside of our, our sight when young people go away from home and sometimes when they're there. But now uh, we, we, have, we had a law uh, passed back then that provided for the disclosure of all violations of codes of conduct in the public universities. It's on the internet, it's there for everyone to see and the requirements that have been dis be disclosed. Well, the time has, has run out for that, that particular provision, but now it has been extended indefinitely and it is part of the, will be a part of the permanent law. That is a good thing. We need to take care of each other, we need to look out for each other. When we see something, we need to say something. We want to encourage all the young people to realize that they have a wonderful lives ahead of them, and we, we don't want them to be stymied, tripped up, or hindered by anything that could get out of hand, accidents, otherwise unintentional conduct that has dramatic, and in many cases, as we know, permanent impact and results on all our people. So we, we're moving forward today. We're getting better, getting stronger, and we're happy to have uh, those who worked on this, this bill it worked hard to get it done. It's a, it's a great bill. It's a great bill for South Carolina. We're leading the country. And we, we have the, the HIPS, uh, Gary and Cindy HIPS are here with us today. Mr. HIPS, thank you, if you very please. much. Um, thank you, Governor. Um, this, this is a great day. I mean, it's, um, it's, a, it's a day that took a long time to get here, a lot of work, a lot of effort. Um, but, you know, there's so many people to thank that this is finally now permanent law. Um, First of all, I want to thank Judge Clary for working so diligently and Joshua Putnam, who was the original author of the bill, um, and all those others who supported it over the last three years. Um, more congratulations go to universities for the way they've conducted themselves within this law for the last three years um, under the sunset provision. Um, I think they've performed really well, and, I, and based on the number of hits that the websites are getting, it, it's... Uh, it, it, it's true that, that people are wanting to see this transparency. They, they want to know what's going on. They want to check out organizations, uh, the good ones, the bad ones. They just want to know um, what is in store if their child joins a certain organization. And I think um, who can argue with transparency? It's a, it's a good thing uh, having that out there. So we're very thankful uh, that this is now permanent law. We invite parents to go to these websites and check out conduct reports um, and have an opportunity to make the best decision for your student and your family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lieutenant Governor Thank you. Well, I'm just so honored to be here today. Uh, being from the upstate, I remember when this tragedy happened. and. Although I didn't know the hips personally, you were in our daily prayers because as a mother of three, um, it just broke my heart um, to see what they were going through. Uh, as your Lieutenant Governor, I am proud to stand here with our Governor, with other, with other legislators to make sure that this now passes on um, and we continue to have transparency. It's so wonderful when South Carolina is leading the other states and making sure that we're keeping uh, our colleges and our students safe. Uh, there's no way to track how many lives have been saved uh, because of this through the years. And so I just wanna echo the governor and say thank you to everybody that worked so hard and know that you know we, we grieved with you and we just thank you for the fight that you kept up and you have saved, I'm sure, a lot of lives and a lot of other parents the grief that you had to go through. So with that, I just wanna say thank you and turn it over to the judge. Thank you. Judge Clare. Thank you very much, Governor and Lieutenant Governor. And before I say anything else, I want to thank uh, my, my co-sponsors on this bill, uh, Mandy Powers Norrell, uh, then House member 
uh, Dwight Loftus, who has now moved across the hall, uh, Jonathan Hill, Ray Felder, uh, Wes Cox, and Jason Elliott. Um, you know, uh, in 2016, uh, my good friend and former colleague Joshua Putnam introduced the Tucker Hips Transparency Act. And when we were going through that, I was a member of the House Education Committee, and uh, it generated a lot of uh, a lot of discussion and debate. But at the end of the day, we were able to put together a bill that uh, truly informs parents and their children uh, as to what organizations have problems on college campuses. And we put in a sunset clause because we didn't know if it would work or not. And so with that approaching uh, this summer, uh, it was only logical that we would extend it into permanent law, and that was the purpose of this bill this year. You know, in order to, uh, to protect your children, and when you send your children away to college, you expect them to be safe. There are so many uh, accidents that happen, but this is not the type of a, an accident or event that you, ever, uh, that you ever think about. I want to thank Gary and Cindy Hibbs because these are two of the most courageous people that I've ever met. They are uh, uh, just a model of, of grace and uh, they've been a pleasure to work with. And uh, I also want to thank my, my senator and my colleague across the hall, uh, Thomas Alexander and, and uh, Senator Rex Rice for shepherding it through the Senate so that we're here today. But uh, it is truly a great day for us to have this. The colleges and universities have stepped up and they have ensured that the information is there and people have easy access to it. So thank you very much to all. Thank you. This sign. That's sign. You have that pen I do. How the pulling go for the Keeping that one there. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have one or two more there to find. Okay. All right. Everyone on this side.